Lecture 3, Class 7th Language. In this lecture, we will discuss remaining types of nouns with exercise from book. Now, rules for countable and uncountable nouns. Singular countable nouns cannot occur without any article. For example, I have lost a book. And uncountable nouns cannot take the article A or N. For example, there is sugar in the box. Now, you can see there is sugar. You cannot say there is a sugar because it is uncountable. Similarly, you cannot say I have lost book. You have to say I have lost a book because A and N is the identity of the quantity of singular nouns. Although uncountable nouns do not have a plural form, we can use units of measurement to refer the quantity of uncountable items. For example, we bought 3 liters of milk. Here you cannot say milks. Why? Because this is not countable. This is uncountable. You can only measure the quantity of the milk in liters. For example, a sachet of shampoo. Here you cannot say shampoos, but you can count the packet of shampoos. Similarly, he asked for a glass of water. This is one glass of water, but if there are two glasses of water, so you have to say two glasses of water. You cannot say two glasses of waters. Is this clear? Now, similarly, you cannot say coffees. You have to say coffee and you can measure the quantity in cups. So, this is all about the rules for countable and uncountable nouns. Now, coming towards exercise C. Identify countable, uncountable, concrete, abstract and collective nouns in these sentences. Some sentences are here on page number 2 and some sentences are on page number 3. And on page number 3, there is a column given to you and in this column, you have to put all the countable, concrete, countable, abstract, uncountable, concrete, uncountable, abstract and collective nouns. Now, here... We are going to discuss how would you put it. Number one, let us eat some fruits. There are some apples in the basket. Fruits. What is the category of fruits? Fruits is the countable and it is also concrete. So you have to put in the column countable concrete. Similarly, number two, sweetness. Sweetness is uncountable and it is also abstract. So you have to put it in the column of uncountable abstract in the next page. Number three, water. Water is not countable. This is uncountable, but it is concrete. So you have to put this noun in the column of uncountable concrete. Similarly, you have to complete all these sentences and you have to put all these kinds according to it, according to the category on the next page. Now here you can see the sentences 6 till 16. All of these sentences must be categorized by countable and uncountable and collective nouns and you have to put it one by one into the given column. Homework. Read types of nouns from book. Do exercise C in book. Make a title page of first term on first page in your copy. Next, paste the outline on second page. So this is all about the homework of lecture 3. Lecture 4. Language. Class 7th. In this lecture, we will discuss exercise F of nouns, explanation and discussion and review of the whole topic of noun. Now exercise F. Identify the nouns in each of the sentences and state their kind. Either they are countable, uncountable, concrete, abstract, collective or material. 
Number one, Karachi is one of the largest cities of Pakistan. First of all, you have to underline all these nouns, Karachi, cities and Pakistan. Then in the next line, you have to write about the kinds of nouns. For example, Karachi is the proper noun. Cities are the common noun. Pakistan is the proper noun. Now, number two, Neil is planning to paint his, paint his table with red paint. Neil is the noun, you have to underline it. Paint is the noun, table is the noun. Then you have to categorize it in the next line. Neil is the proper noun, paint is the common noun, table is the common noun and concrete noun. In this way, you have to complete it 1 till 10 and this exercise will be done in your copies. So this is all about the topic of nouns. Homework of lecture 4. Read and understand topic of nouns. Do exercise A and C in book. Do exercise F in copy. Now, in this lecture, we have completed the explanation of topic nouns with all the exercises. We also have discussed the exercises of book and copy which is mentioned clearly here. I hope you all have understood well. Thank you class. Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.